Hello, a uh, quick rundown of the Caterpillar S61 thermal camera. This bad boy. As you see, it's got this FLIR nodule on top, which is the thermal element. Um, I've had it uh, probably about a year since the uh, S60 went. The S60 died drowning in the pool. We had a lot of glitches. It was just a, a compromise all round. It was a non-digital thermal camera. I liked it and it, it was amazing at the time, but this has been glitch free. This has been the real deal. So I'll just show you the actual phone. Oh, just taking the cover off. I, I am extremely hard on phones. I broke every builder phone I've ever had in the past. Broke the S60. I, uh, it gives us a real good bashing. So far, I haven't damaged it. I have uh, been carrying it with the, uh, the active urban rugged case that came from Cat because the wife knew I would smash the hell out of it and an 800 pound phone when you break it, it's not funny. As it is, it's got a few little dings and dents on it, but it's, um, you know, overall it's it's pretty good. I have dropped it many times on the nodule on all sides. It's not an easy life. Now the beauty of this phone is the thermal camera. If you're a damp surveyor, uh, flood surveyor, a building surveyor, building manager, someone who needs to trace moisture ingress, uh, the root of it to take photos, uh, it can be used for looking through stud wall with the thermal differences, spotting insulation in ceilings and, and gaps. Um, but it's real, real you know, boom for me is the moisture tracing. I'm going to go to the thermal camera and just show you a little bit about it. Got some photos I've taken off a uh, off a doorway where there was a leak from above. So all this does it, it, it ties in what you know as a surveyor. It gives you that evidence. So there we can see a doorway. See moisture in the wall above it. So this is the entrance hallway to Victorian house. If I pull down the picture, the half photo, which is very great, you see that stain to the ceiling, to the coving, and you trace it up. And then you can trace that all the way up to the upstairs, to the uh, windowsill above that doorway, that first floor level, and the windowsill was shot to pieces, water was going in. The wall above was boarded and then turned black with mould, so you know, rainwater ingress came down behind. So this tool very handy. Uh, the other features it's got is the air testing. So for surveyors involved with humidity, condensation, mould, drying out. Again, the air testing, the graphs and charts can help you massively with uh, with that. It, it sort of takes away the need to carry a separate hygrometer and tools like that. It's got a built-in tape measure, a laser measure, which I don't use because I'm not calibrated, so pure laziness, but one day I will get that going. Um, it's a smartish phone. It's not your iPhone, it's not your top-of-range Samsung, it's not going to be someone who's gaming crazy. This is a smartphone that can do everything you need, you know. I don't do my Tesco shopping on it, I don't go that far into stuff, but I've got my tracker fleet tracker software on it, I've got the Arlo camera system on it, I've got Instagram, Facebook and the other sort of social media stuff we have to do these days. Uh, the real beauty of this is the, the thermal camera, the environmental test so that's got on it will actually upload to the FLIR damp meter. And vice versa. So you have the flur meter working away, testing timbers, testing flood. And you get a pretty graph here that the customers can see. And that can be saved from there online using their apps to their uh, report software. So you can show what the humidity was, you can show what the damage was. So that's a real good tool for, for people in the uh, remedial or the flood remedi uh, remediation sort of industry. Um, does someone who's non-specialist looking for damp need it? No. So if you're a damp surveyor, a flood surveyor, a building surveyor, Facilities manager that deals with leaks, a leak detection company, a thermal company that does insulation. Yes, you've got to have a phone, so why not have one that gives something extra, brings something extra to the party? Um, it's got a little air sensor, so that's where it gets its air readings from. It's uh, I have it set up on one push for a torch. It takes an SD, micro SD. It's got you know space on there. Uh, this is the thermal the camera, the thermal camera module on the tape measure, I think, or the tape measure here. Sorry. Uh, kind of a laser warning because the tape measure uses laser. It's uh, not too bad. I pick my nails and I do struggle. You know, it's okay now because I haven't got the case on. When I get the case on, I have to use my one nail that's the good nail for getting it undone and getting it plugged in. It's one of them micro round new C type USB, so it doesn't matter which way it goes. So in the dark, you can shove it in, it's good. Uh, charging life is good. It lasts me all day, not a problem. Uh, I did have a problem, a hitch, a glitch with it uh, six months ago. Uh, I've been downloading dodgy apps. Well, not dodgy, you know, uh, flawed drawing software, you know, for doing sketch designs on site and uh, 
other stuff, uh, photo editing software, because I do a lot of photos for, for show mold and things like that, and, and just some of these packages aren't very well written. So something on there absolutely killed this, and, and the battery was all over the place for, for a week, to the point I was about to send it back. Um, and then I, they, on their insistent, I wiped it, I reset it, I wiped it and reset it again. I then delete the profile and it went back in and it charged and it's held charged since. So I know it's software, something I'd done. Probably due to a bad firmware on this beast because it's actually made by a firm called Bullet or something like that. So it's not actually a cat phone by a cat, it's, it's made by Bullet and it was a bit glitchy. Uh, and I presume the apps didn't like it. But I'm saying that there's no glitches on this. It's day to day, there's no bugs. It, it works as it should do, it does what I need to. The built in camera is, is okay, it does its job. Um, it's a heavy phone. I did, because I bought my Surveyor one of these first and I was impressed by how he looked after it, I then bought myself one, but knowing I don't look after things. So I went for the, the Cat Urban Active Tactical Bash Proof Cover, which, sorry, I'm just gonna put this uh, waterproof clip back in so I could put it in this little case. Um, so yeah, to give it the extra, it slides in there, you know, quite nicely. This is a robust case, I must have it. It's, it's bomb proof. It helps it when I do drop it. I drop it at least once a day this time. Um, this tactical case came with a plastic clip so you could hook on your belt. That's why I wanted it, because I thought 800 feet, I want to keep it safe. So I bought one of these cases for me and my surveyor. Uh, I broke my clip on this because it's plastic and absolute rubbish within 10 minutes of having it. I sat down, first time I sat down, snap. The other thing I had was a a uh, little cord with a Caribbean clip so you could hook it on something so if you're rock climbing it would dingle about but you're not going to have that on your belt where you're walking and it's slapping you in the leg that's so that clip is absolutely useless so as a result I don't have the clip on it uh, they did send through some other ones they made but they're still plastic they're still rubbish come on metal clip there please uh, consider this was, was quite a bit of money and difficult to get hold of this is my magnetic mount for the car so when I jump in the car it sits on the dash this mount would not hold it alone this is a heavy phone so I have to sit on my um power it hands-free device and then rest it on the magnet and it stays there well and it lets me dial and call and stuff like that so but this is has to be the big case a bit difficult because with this case it's getting to the camera it has to be there so it's off centered but it works and works well uh, the case overall is very good there was something wrong with the case i can't remember what it was one of the um i think the air sensor or something like that one of the one of the sensors on board is covered uh, so if you take this off, there's an extra sensor hole, which you can't get with this case. It, it doesn't work in conjunction with it, it's a bit stupid. Um, but yeah, overall the phone has been superb. Worth £800 if you need a thermal camera, and certainly better than having a £4,000, £10,000 camera sitting in the car. This is on me, so you know, I can go where I want with it. Um, great for floor stuff, great for testing for pipes, great for finding that it's the damp floor that's failed, and that's why the walls are damp. Um, you get some very good photos of uh, masonry and block work. It can be used as almost like tracing stud work in, in walls because the studs are a lot colder than the item around it or the insulation is shielding it. You can see the variation and you can get quite a good uh, difference. I'm just going to scan this around through very quickly and sort of show some pictures. So that's a, uh, a solid floor that was put in by the council. No membrane, plasterboard touching it and you can see where Moisture is wicking up the wall. So then cold spots are in the cold exposed corner. And that relates when you test it with damage, then you can find that dampness is there. So it's, it's one and the same. So yeah, a great tool, great product for that. Um, anything else on it? The, the air testing, which I showed you briefly. Uh, the tape measure device that I don't have on here. Um, the camera is pretty average, slow response. I have got good photos of it accidentally. Um, but if you're into your photography, this is probably not for you. Uh, it's got everything I need, so get out and get yourself one. There's nothing negative about this yet. The buttons have just started to stick recently, but when you give it a good wallop, it comes back. So there's probably uh, muck stuck under it. I've not used this in one water yet. I've not, not not done anything like that. I've got a screen cover on it because, like I said, this gets dropped at least a day, uh, every day. It's been dropped over ladders. It's been dropped off the back of a truck. It's been dropped two meters. I think about three meters about the height so I've actually didn't dropped it. Uh, because I'm leaning over gutters trying to get the photo and trying to get it out the window. I mean, I do dangle it out the windows to get photos of gutters, things like that. So far, I've not killed it. Um, if I do, I'll let you know. But as it is, this is a good phone. It has lasted. It's, again, a massive heavy brick of a weapon. Um, it makes you feel safer on the street, but it doesn't make you stronger carrying it. Um, I wish it was light. I wish it was thinner. I wish it didn't have a protective case. But then I, if I looked after things, I wouldn't have to. So, yeah. By all means, go out and get yourself a... Caterpillar S61, 
thermal smartphone. And like I said, if you get the uh, thermal damp meters from Fleur, not the thermal damp meters, the damp meters from Fleur, they connect straight to this device. So they can be one and the same. So yeah, very well uh, product. Well, so for now, sign off. Uh, this is my COVID haircut. Been out with me mask on. Um, stay safe, don't go out. Let's say up the NHS and is the good times. Thank you. Enjoy.